guys, it's Brandon from Electric Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Tag Manager with your Squarespace website. And it's applicable to most of the other website builders as well because you're just injecting some code. So, first things first, you're going to need to create an account. I already have some accounts here, so you will have to. It might look a little bit different for you, but not, not really. You're just going to enter your account name, sort of like how you would do for Google Analytics. It's basically the same thing where you can have multiple containers within a certain account. So let's say whatever it would be, and then your container name. And you would do a web. Then you would create. I'm not going to hit create because I already have some. Once you have that account created, just navigate to your account and then go to your Squarespace site and we're going to go from the home page to settings <coughs> advanced code injection and this is where we're going to be placing the code now once you're in admin here you want to go to install Google Tag Manager and here it is. Just copy that code into the head of the page. So, bam. Done. Save that. And then, there's actually one more step. This says the opening body tag. But what we're actually going to do with it is put it into the footer. <clears throat> and you can see, I actually already have it. But we'll update it anyways. So to recap, you need to inject footer code as well as code at the top of your header. And that all comes from just clicking on Install Google Tag Manager in your admin. Now we want to actually start tracking Google Analytics data through our Google Tag Manager. So that's how we're going to do that. Go to your workspace. And we're going to add a new tag. Here we're going to choose the tag type and we're going to do Google Analytics Universal Analytics. What we're going to be tracking is the page view and we're going to select a new variable for this. Even though I have set it up previously. Now you're going to enter your Google Analytics tracking ID. So to find that, go to your analytics account and go to admin. And click on tracking info, tracking code. This is your tracking ID. Copy and paste that into here. And you can see they have taken up here as well. We're going to leave auto for the cookie domain. And we're going to keep the name like this. Now, add the name here as well. Basic setup. And click save. So that's your tag configuration. Well, you actually need to have a trigger to make this tag fire. So now we're going to click on triggering. We're going to choose all pages. So it's going to trigger on every page. Now you can get really advanced with this where you have certain triggers based on um, certain landing pages or things of that nature. But this is just the basic setup to get your tag to fire across all of the website pages. We're going to call this Google Analytics page 
view. So we're just going to make sure this is all good. We have our tag configuration, we have our triggering, we have it named, I'm going to click save. So now, we go to the tags, we'll see here. And here I had it set up from a while ago, which let's actually go ahead and delete this. And let's delete. So now we have the text here, but we want to make sure that we're not um, double counting traffic. So what we need to do is go to analytics and we're actually going to disconnect, unlink our account from Squarespace. So when you set up your Google Analytics initially, you probably did it through the Squarespace integration. So if you just navigate back to settings and then go to advanced, and go to external API keys, you'll see the Google Analytics account number here. I obviously already have this deleted because I've been using Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics before. So you should just erase it. So whatever it was, erase and then save. And now it'll be going through Google Tag Manager instead of through here. And that's really the only, that's the best way to do this. And once we have those workspace changes, we're gonna, you can preview them to make sure that they're actually working. So we can start the preview. So what we would do is then visit our website in the same browser, and it's going to show us whether or not it's working. And it is, as you can see here, summary tags fire on this page, Google Analytics page view. And you can scroll through a little bit more. Again, it was fired. So it's clear this one's good to go. And now we're going to submit. All these workspace changes that we just made, we're going to publish them. You can give it a name. This is more important when you have a lot of tags going on. We're going to get more in depth in this with later videos. So, updated Google Analytics tag. And we'll just leave the description blank. And now we are done. And that's it. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out in the comments or email and like this video if it was helpful. Thank you.